I think people are quite surprised to see an, an Avril in uniform um, discussing this subject because perhaps in the past it's mainly been scientists and environmentalists. I think the consequences of climate change, as we're, as we're increasing understanding, are not just those that affect the environment, um, they affect people as well. Um, as a result of changes in temperature, of water supplies, and um, rising sea levels, then we're likely to see potentially um, failures of crops, uh, loss of fish stocks, increased problems with health, um, disease spreading. And this is going to put pressure on, on countries and their organisations. In some cases, they'll be able to accommodate it. In others, um, it will be the tipping point for um, a, a weak government or a weak state. And that may result either in um, disorder in, in the country or perhaps more likely is a, a migration away from that country and it could be very large numbers. It could be caused by um, sea levels rising, for example in Bangladesh, where I think they'll lose between 25 and 40 percent of the land if predicted sea levels rises occur. Um, or it could be because of a failure of the crops over a number of years. Um, and then we'll have to understand what that means as far as um, the security implications as, as people move around the world in an unplanned fashion.